Welcome to SkipNet Direct Access Terminal. Please enter command. Login. Please enter user authentication. Vifalini2 at, at foundation.scp. Sierra Charlie Papa. Authentication accepted. Please enter command. Access 23173. You are attempting to access a security level 3 secret file. Please note that access to this file is restricted to personnel with level 3 security clearance directly in contact with SCP-2317. Continuing without proper authorization will result in disciplinary action, up to and including administration of a broad spectrum Class A amnestic, followed by termination of employment. Information regarding your access to this file, including the date, time, and location, will be reported to the Records and Information Security Administration. If you wish to continue, please re-enter your user authentication now. V. Fellini, 2, at, at foundation.scp. Sierra Charlie Papa. Authentication accepted. Please enter your project-specific personal identification number. 329-765-1029-007. Thank you. The time and date of your access to this file has been logged and reported to the Records and Information Security Administration. Username, Dr. Victoria Fellini. Title, Senior Researcher, SCP-2317. Displaying, SCP-2317. Clearance Level 3. Item Number, SCP-2317. Object Class, Keter. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-2317 is to be secured at Containment Area 179 in a reinforced 3 meter by 3 meter by 3 meter containment chamber. Armed guards are to be in place at all times in order to prevent unauthorized access to the facility. All personnel assigned to SCP-2317 must rotate out for one month of psychological counseling after two months on site. Personnel assigned to SCP-2317 must undergo heavy psychological testing before being cleared to enter the site. Individuals must score at least 72 points on the Milgram Obedience Examination, be unmarried, have no offspring, and express nothing less than total loyalty to the Foundation. While on site, individuals assigned to SCP-2317 will be issued concealing helmets with integrated voice changers to protect their identity. On-site staff are not to remove said uniforms in the presence of other staff members. Off-duty hours are to be spent in private quarters alone. A Class D personnel with a background as a convicted murderer is to be assigned to SCP-2317 each month for the purposes of carrying out Procedure 220 Calabasas. During Procedure 220 Calabasas, at least one security clearance 3-2317 staff member must monitor the procedure by camera at all times. Following the procedure, all Class D personnel must return to their holding cells or explosive collars will be detonated. Prior paragraph revised as follows. One staff member with security clearance 4-2317 will be assigned each month as, quote, Class D personnel, in order to act as assistant to the primary celebrant. Personnel without security clearance of level 3 or higher will be told that the assistant is a Class D personnel chosen from the normal pool of Class D candidates. All persons directly involved with Procedure 220 Calabasas are to be informed of this fact. No personnel shall be authorized to assist with Procedure 220 Calabasas without first being clearly briefed that the assistant is not, in fact, a Class D personnel, and should not be terminated in the event that they disobey direct orders from the guards. Description SCP-2317 is a wooden door and frame originally constructed as a basement door for a 19th century Massachusetts brownstone. Upon opening the door, any person stepping through the door frame will be transported to an alternate reality. Exploration of the alternate reality, SCP-2317 Prime, is limited, but the area directly accessible through SCP-2317 is a salt pan several kilometers in radius. A circle of seven pillars, SCP-2317-A through SCP-2317-G, are positioned in a 10 meter diameter circle, approximately 10 meters directly in front of SCP-2317. Each pillar is approximately 1 meter in diameter and 7 meters tall, constructed of marble and engraved with a series of intricate bas-reliefs. The art style of the engravings do not correspond to that of any known modern, historic, or prehistoric civilization. Addendum 1. Procedure 220 Calabasas Procedure 220 Calabasas is a ritual to be performed at solar noon each day, defined as the moment when the sun reaches its height over SCP-2317. Performing Procedure 220 Calabasas requires the following. 
Two armed Foundation security personnel with security clearance of level 3 or higher, hereafter referred to as guards. One Foundation personnel with security clearance of level 4, hereafter referred to as celebrant. One Class D personnel, as specified under Special Containment Procedures, hereafter referred to as Assistant. Data expunged. One Obsidian Edged Knife, hereafter referred to as Blade. One Silver Aspergillum and Aspersorium, filled with at least 500 cc of holy water blessed by a priest of Abrahamic faith. Step 1. Celebrant, Guards, and Assistant open SCP-2317, step through, and enter SCP-2317 Prime. Assistant will enter first, followed by guards, followed by celebrant. Guards will, at all times, maintain situational awareness of assistant, and should be prepared to prevent escape with deadly force. Step 2. Beginning with the pillar closest to and in line with SCP-2317, SCP-2317-A, Celebrant circumambulates SCP-2317-A through SCP-2317-G, proceeding counterclockwise at an even and measured pace. At every other step, Celebrant will scatter holy water using the Aspergillum and Aspersorium in the direction of the circle's center. Step 3. Upon completing one circumambulation of SCP-2317-A through dash G, Celebrant scatters holy water over the head of the assistant and recites the following phrase. Step 4. Data expunged. Step 5. Assistant then circumambulates SCP-2317-A through dash G in a clockwise direction, scattering the mixture of blood and holy water in the direction of the circle's center. Step 6. Upon completing one circumambulation of SCP-2317-A through dash G, Assistant walks to the center of the circle of stones and pours the remaining mixture of blood and water onto the discolored patch of salt and sand in the center, while reciting the following phrase. Step 7. All materials are gathered up, the obsidian knife is secured, and all personnel return through SCP-2317, which is subsequently closed. Failure at any point to properly perform Procedure 220 Calabasas may result in an XK-class end-of-the-world scenario. Should any mishap or failure occur, all personnel are to return immediately through SCP-2317, closing the door behind them. The containment chamber will be immediately locked down, and a Level 2 emergency declared and reported to the O5 Council. Further instructions will be provided to on-site personnel according to Emergency Order Zachariah. Further information on SCP-2317 is classified Level 4, Top Secret, or higher, Insufficient Security Clearance. 